I don't speak to anyone who says, well, it's not in anyone's interest that they reach a solution today. But the uh, likelihood of that happening is what, 15 percent, 30 percent or 50 percent? Today, oh. 30 percent ish I guess maybe right. maybe some somewhere higher than that in the sense of you know I mean this this is this is Europe Europe as we all know it we will get a deal done somehow it's never the last possible day um, so the, the, guessing the precise day Right. We just extend deadlines and we get it done. Okay, so this is what the, the Greek uh, two-year yield is doing, right? 9.7. Do you assume that they will do a deal even if it's at the last minute? Or are you really concerned about them having to ask for another bailout? That will be very unpopular. Um, I, I personally assume something gets done at the last minute. That, that, but you know, that since we're not solving the underlying problems, I mean, I was, you know, almost more alarmed by anything else that the news that... You know, the IMF's chief economist said this would happen years ago with, with the program that we've had and, and on everybody went with what we've got, which, is, which doesn't offer much hope of returning to sustainable growth right. in Greece. So we're permanently finding another short-term fix and experience says we will find one because the alternative isn't worth thinking about and we'll... We'll get a lot of pushing it down to the wire, but, but that's what happens. What happens if Greece leaves the Eurozone? And again, I know it's difficult to put a percentage probability on it, but do we need to? Um, I, I don't know how intelligently we can in the sense of these sort of big binary things. It, it's yeah. not impossible, um, but, but, but a, a number is just a guess. At least someone cleverer than me will put a, put a number on it that they think isn't just a guess. I, I think that if you were going to, you know, if you were going to think of a year to do it, frankly, after Brexit... Um, with what's happening in Italy, in the middle of what's happening in France. It's not an obviously great time to have that conversation.